Welcome to Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. Today we're going to be in the shark exhibit area and I'm going to be talking about the big, the bad, and the ugly sharks. I hope that you will enjoy this video today. It's just a small snip of what we have to offer here at the Buena Vista Museum. Sharks Tooth Hill is an area that's very prevalent here in Kern County with uh, shark teeth and other uh, marine mammals that died in the ocean, floated to the bottom, got stuck in the round mountain silt that was here, and that's why it makes our area one of the richest bone beds in the world. Uh, it is the same bone bed that is dated to about 14 to 16 million years ago, long time ago when most of uh, western Kern County was under water. Uh, Santa Cruz was directly to the west of us, and uh, with the San Andreas Fault, we know that Santa Cruz now is four and a half hours uh, to the north of us. We have a lot of shark jaws here. Uh, we don't have much of a shark body here because all sharks were made of cartilage. So the only thing that really does survive is their teeth. We are going to talk about the large tooth mako jaw. The jaw that you see in front of you is the modern day jaw with all fossilized teeth in it. It took over 35 years for those teeth to be collected and put into the right order that they should be in this jaw. We're real pleased to have that on display here. We have many other jaws up on our wall. Um, you see a lot of different modern jaws. Some of these sharks also were in ancient times here. The megalodon jaw that we have here at the museum is um, a cast or recreation of a megalodon, what they think it would have, the jaw would have looked like. Um, the shark that is inside of that is a juvenile mako, and so you can kind of see the difference between how big the makos are compared to the megalodon, and it was very much a large, large shark. Probably the largest shark that has ever lived that we know of. For every inch of tooth there's 10 feet of shark so when you have a six to seven inch tooth then you're looking at a 60 to 70 foot uh, shark these sharks would weigh tons like 60 tons at that size they also would have about 275 teeth in their mouth uh, it's a lot of teeth and they had more than one row they had multiple rows of teeth between three and five rows of teeth so in the case that you're looking at here, you can see there are megalodon teeth and to the um, left hand side there, you also see the great white teeth and you can tell the, the comparison. The megalodon by far was a much larger uh, animal. And we also have in this case mako teeth, um, a wide assortment of mako teeth that have come from the Shark's Tooth Hill area, cow shark teeth. Um, those are very unique looking and, and more rare. And then in the case next to it, we have a model of a megalodon, so you can kind of get a scope of what he might have looked like. Um, and also a great megalodon tooth in Matrix um, to the left of him. There are some other um, pieces of megalodon teeth in there also. And occasionally we get a shark vertebrae. Shark vertebrae are very um, hard to find, um, or I should say hard to actually fossilize. It takes the exact um, mineralization and pressure for them to fossilize, and then you end up with um, an actual fossil um, vertebrae. We have two wonderful murals here uh, in the shark area. Both were painted by paleo artist Ben Nafis. We're very pleased to have these. One is kind of depicting what the ocean looked like um, 14 million years ago. I like to say that this was Chester Avenue. Cross traffic, you've got dolphins and the sea lions and the whales and turtles and the alodesmus and you've also got 
um, Desmostylus and a Paleoparadoxia. You've got lots of different animals all in this area. It was a very, very um, prolific area. It was tropical. The waters were warm. And it was a, a pretty great time, especially for the uh, Megalodon, because he would come in and just kind of munch um, on what he wanted to eat. And you can see him in the background. The other mural also depicts what ocean life would have been like, uh, more of right at the bottom of the ocean, and you can see the different um, creatures that were there, the stingrays, the turtles, uh, the dolphins, uh, also the desmostylus, and again, you see the megalodon at the top coming in for his lunch. In the very front of this case, you see microfossils. These fossils, you can see down to just a size of a grain of a sand. The pictures here are blown up over a hundred times uh, so that you can actually see how large or what that tooth's details are. But if you're looking at it, it's just very, very small. You have to find these um, actually with like almost using a magnifying glass or a microscope. Thank you for viewing this video today and we hope that you will view others that are on our website. We hope that you will go there and check them out. We do have more to come in the future, so if you like and subscribe, you'll get a notification when we have future ones ready to be viewed.